the member for Solomon has the call. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Veterans Affairs and Defence Personnel. How did the recent Prime Minister's natural, uh, National Veterans Employment Awards highlight the Albanese Labor government's priorities in veterans' employment? I give a call to the Minister for Veterans Affairs and Minister for Defence Personnel. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'd like to thank the member for Solomon for his question and, of course, his continued advocacy for the veterans in his community and, of course, for his service to our nation as part of our Australian Defence Force. Last Thursday night, the member for Solomon joined me, along with the Assistant Minister for Defence and Veterans Affairs and, importantly, with the Prime Minister as well, to celebrate the Prime Minister's National Veterans Employment Awards here in Canberra. These awards are particularly special because they not only recognise the awesome work that veteran employees and businesses are doing around the country, but they also recognised for the first time the contributions that veterans' families, specifically veteran partners, can make to the civilian workforce. And I'd like to give congratulations to the Veteran Employee of the Year, Nick Elson of GSA Management, Veteran Entrepreneur of the Year, Garth Chester of Vallenhold, Partner Employee of the Year, Katie Vidal of She Maps, Partner Entrepreneur of the Year, Kelly Wilmot of Green Fox Training Studios, Large Employer of the Year, Cubic Defence Australia, Small Employer of the Year, Viden Consulting Group, Excellence in Supporting Veteran Employment Category winner, Vertical Scope Group, Outstanding Contribution to Veteran and Partner Employment winner, Amanda McHugh of Career Swag, and finally, winner of the Medium Employer of the Year and our Outstanding Employer of the Year, Blue Ridge. The awards highlight the importance that this government places upon giving veterans the support they need in order to successfully transition out of military and into civilian life. And it highlights to all employers the benefits of employing a veteran. Veterans bring to the civilian workspace so many of the skills that they've learnt in their time in the ADF. Leadership, teamwork, loyalty, agility, discipline and the ability to work under pressure. Veterans' families bring not only their professionalism, planning and management skills to the workforce, they also bring the ability to work autonomously and in highly variable environments. All critical skills in the modern economy, all in demand by employers today. The Albanese government knows just how important a good transition is for a veteran to ensure good outcomes following their military service, which is a big part of that is getting into meaningful work. That's why at the election we committed to a $24 million veterans employment program looking to improve veteran and defence family employment prospects, improving education and backing veteran owned businesses. I want to acknowledge some of our excellent veteran-led Aussie defence industry businesses that join us in the gallery today. The Whiskey Project, J37, 3ME Technology, yeah, yeah. Nova, Omni Executive and Xtech. Veterans make an amazing contribution to defence industry. They know what defence personnel need in the field. Your skills mean you continue to contribute to our sovereign capability. It's all part of how the Albanese government is delivering a better future for veterans and families. Yeah, yeah.